Hi guys, this is Jahan, and this is going to be a reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please remember these are general messages, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. And this is also a timeless reading, so if this is meant to resonate for you or with you, you'll see it at the right time. So I'm going to ask Universe Angel Spirit, creator of all things, please show me the energies for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Any messages, warnings, advice, and how can Taurus potentially improve the quality of their life? Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Ooh. Get two more. So we have the Three of Wands. So growth and expansion. That's nice. I'm hearing GPS. You guys trying to find your way to your appointment or interview or finally getting correspondence back. Hearing back positive news, Taurus. Some of you might even be scouting out creative spaces. Get one more for Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Overall energy, we have the Five of Cups. The High Priestess. So some of you might be tarot readers like myself. Or might be watching a lot of tarot readings during this time or, you know, speaking to tarot readers. And then we have the Six of Coins. Some of you might be seeking spiritual guidance in reference to your finances because you might be feeling overwhelmed. Some of you might be seeking spiritual guidance or watching tarot readings because you feel overwhelmed. Uh, some of you, like I said, in your finances, some of you, this could be um, because you're wondering if you're going to get growth and expansion or receive some sort of opportunity or gain. Some of you are wondering if you should look further or go overseas or explore more. Some of you, you're try kind trying to get confirmation or clarity on what your, uh, your intuition has been telling you. With the Five of Cups, some of you are feeling as though you're down and out on your luck. You're moping. Some of you... You know, might need a little drinky drink from from time to time to calm your nerves. <laughs> I'm not judging. Some of you have someone who feels this way about you. With this two of wands, they don't know how to approach you. Some of you, I'm picking up, they like write, you know how like you write a test message and you erase it and then you try to write it out because they don't know what to say to you. But this person definitely wants to come in and offer you something stable, something that you can build upon. Some of you, this could definitely be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or even a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Some of you, this could even be another uh, Taurus or a Virgo, Capricorn. But either way, I'm picking up this person is overwhelmed. <sighs> but either, some of you, maybe this person, you're, this is someone you, you don't even really give a lot of energy to. It's not like reciprocal. Some of you, uh, this is someone, maybe you ghosted someone or someone ghosted you and you're wondering why. So some of you could definitely be looking into, you know, Oracle or tarot cards, psychics to figure out why, or this person is wondering why. You just feel like it doesn't work. It won't work. Maybe for whatever reason, let me get more clarifiers. I literally, for some, I feel sick. Some of you have been drinking. And spirit might be urging you to go on a detox or stop drinking. Or someone could be having a, someone has a drinking problem or drinks over you. Judgment. Yeah, this is definitely someone from the past. I'm getting hungover vibe. Seven of Swords. This is someone who is very manipulative. Lying, stealing, cheating from you, wasn't honest. Maybe they didn't value you when they had you. But now they want a resurrection resurrection with you. They want you guys to rekindle whatever it is that you guys had in the past. Some of you, this person isn't upfront and honest about how they truly feel. Let me get more clarifier. Some of you, I get the sense that you're going to end up getting some sort of new opportunity in reference to your finances. So this could be a new job or some sort of new project, creative venture, business. After a time of just being frustrated with your work, 
some of you feel as though you're overworked and underpaid at your job they expect you to get oh so much done but they don't provide the proper resources for you guys to actually do your work because it looks like you know the uh, machine is broken and he's like what the you know like why won't this ever work so you're just like you're just over it and you feel as though you want you want to snap back some of you feel as though you're over again overworked and underpaid like these companies be expecting so much of you but be forgetting who's really in control like i'll quit like try me and i'll walk out like i can't tell you how many jobs i didn't walk out on because they just want to treat you like shit like don't get it twisted yes i get my money here but that, that doesn't give you the opportunity to just treat me any type of way and all because that ultimately that stresses you out and we already know what stress can lead to your ultimate freaking demise so don't let these companies treat you any type of way that's why it's always good to have a side hustle different streams of income the average millionaire has at least seven streams of income so if you want to be comfortable get to a place where you have different streams of income income coming in to where you know if your job is acting a fool you don't really need them like that i remember everybody hates chris where uh his mom used to be like i don't need this my man got two jobs <laughs> but i digress Let's see what else we need to know for the sign of Taurus Summit and Rising. But yeah, some of you, I definitely feel as though there's going to be a renewal rising from the Phoenix. You guys are already following your intuition. You know, a problem shared is a problem solved. So a lot of you guys, you already are acknowledging, you know, that you're overwhelmed and that, you know, you need to create a change for yourself. So I definitely feel as though there's going to be a, a change. I had to flip that really quick. So let's get more clarifiers for Taurus Summit and Rising. Yep, the Empress. You guys are going to end up giving birth to your ideas. Some of you are going to end up you're pregnant or someone around you is pregnant. Or you might um, literally, you know, be one, 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 giving birth to your ideas. Everything that you've been conceptualizing, everything that you've been planning with this two of wands patiently. Maybe some of you while you're at your job, you're sitting there, you know, thinking about what you want to do with your business. Because I can tell you, like, <laughs> I used to work at this call center and I would just sit there and like, because you're allowed to pretty much do what you wanted to do online, whatever. I would like look up, read, you know, read uh, tarot card meetings online. I bring my card to work. You know, back then I had like an accessory online business. I would like, you know, set up my online store. You know, I was just focusing like doing me while I was at work. You know what I mean? So I get the sense that you guys even, um, you know, you guys are constantly planning. I get the sense that whatever it is that you've been planning, whatever seeds you've been planting, you're going to end up reaping the harvest and benefiting from. Ooh, with the lover's card, some of you, this is definitely a love situation. Someone from the past with the judgment card. Um, this could definitely be a Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is wanting to come back. This person sees you as their uh, counterpart, the quintessential woman, divine feminine. They see you as their wife or husband. This person feels as though you guys were destined and fated and meant to be with one another. So uh, don't be surprised if you guys end up hearing from someone from the past. To close your reading, I'm going to get one last card here, Taurus. A little short reading, extra confirmation for anyone who needed to hear it. Taurus, I'm going to remind you, what else should Taurus know? Moving forward. Taurus, I'm going to remind These flew out. I didn't mean to do that. You get one or two spirit. Thank you. Taurus, summon, and rising. Oh, nice. Get one more. For Taurus, summon, and rising. Perfect. So, overall energy, protect it. It says you are safe and support it while you change your career. So for anyone who needs to hear that, if you've been wanting to change job, careers, it says you're protected. Travel. It says your life purpose involves traveling and specifically online. Some of you have the potential to do some sort of entrepreneurship online, um, self-employment. You don't have to be confined to an office or a space for eight hours. You can work remotely and travel while you, while you do it. Your life purpose involves traveling, Taurus. And then we also have study. 
reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So if this isn't some, if this is something that you really want to do, but you just don't know how to do it, study and do some research, especially in this day and age. It's so easy to learn how to set up your own business online. It's so easy to learn how to program and code because that's the future. You know what I mean? People are we're evolving as a, a species. So learn how to code, learn how to program because, you know, pretty soon, why do you think all of these retail, these malls are going bankrupt, going out of business? Because everybody is, you know, going online. So, yeah, that's what I'm picking up for you, Taurus. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys click the bell and subscribe. And you guys will see me in your next reading. Infinite, infinite, infinite abundance. Bye, Taurus.